creating a draft in WordPress, the first thing you do is, is you need to log in to WordPress. So you simply click on this button and it will take you to um, the login area of WordPress. And once you log in, um, then you will be brought to um, the inside of WordPress. And the first thing that you need to do is go to the left and simply add a new post. And what we want to do is uh, imagine that we've already written this. You can write it in WordPress, but we're going to imagine that we've already written this. So we're going to take the, the post, which is in a text document, and we're going to copy and paste it here. Now, when you first get in, you may not see all these buttons here, but you can click on this thing here, which is show everything in the kitchen sink. Um, and then you're going to push position your cursor here and look for the text um, place to uh, paste as plain text. So you simply do that, Control V or Apple V if you have a Mac, and insert. Now what I did was I actually put the title in the top, so now I'm going to take this title and paste it in here. I'll move this up a little bit. So this works just like Word. Um, Eventually, this is the post that we're going to want. So you can see here, um, I've split things up into smaller paragraphs. I've put some photos in. And what, what you want to make sure you do is go through and determine how you want the person to read this and what things you want highlighted. Um, and also, which areas you want to have as your subheads. Now, in this case, he's talking about two layoffs, so we're going to so we're going to create subheads for layoff one and layoff two. And right now, this is, as you can see, this is simply reading as regular paragraph text. But if you click there, you'll see various headings. Do not use heading one or heading two. Only start with heading three. Uh, there's a reason for that. So if we click on that now, when you click on or now when you see um, this layoff one, it says heading three. You go down here do the same thing for this one okay and um, so the next thing we want to do is make sure that we categorize this correctly this is about career and professional development so what we do is scroll down and look for the career and professional development uh, category and click on that. Okay, so it's categorized properly. And uh, then we determine if there's any specific tags that this should have. Well, it's about careers and it's, but it's specifically about you know layoffs and also if you read it, it's about networking. So we should probably put those tags in. Uh, now, there is something that automatically generates tags here, but you may not want to choose all of those. You can just add your own. So networking and layoffs. So we add those. And um, that is it for starting this process. This is step one. Um, I will, in the, in the next video, show you how to add images.